Holy shit, this is scary. I know, but we're here. Let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. Hmm. These are thick tracks and definitely fresh. Nathan's SUV? Now, why would somebody run all that electricity into an old empty barn? Watson, we can safely assume that this ancient vehicle is not our suspect. door. Come on. Oh, yes. Maximus rules. God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, 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 look closer. Harry, Aaron, Prescott, and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only... This tractor has paid its dues. I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. Okay. There's no reason for anybody to drive out here. But there must be. Wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. Nothing here. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. Just rotting wood. Huh. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. I saw them in a Friday the 13th movie. Whoa. 
What is this? It's totally brand new. Why? So many haystacks, so few needles. No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. Okay, Chloe. Um, I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. I hope. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Hop, hop and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. Nope. I can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. I need to hook this up to something heavier. Max, use your rewind and get that motor back up there. Driver strikes again. <clears throat> I wish Warren could have seen that physics trick. Damn, this is heavy. What is this? Jackpot. Do I even need to say how weird this is? He just did. Who built this kind of place? A Prescott, of course.
This bunker is so surreal. This is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. First a padlock, then a digicode? Someone really doesn't... in the movies. Open sesame. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. What the hell is this? More survivalist supplies. Water supplies. It's like in David's garage bunker. Look at all this weird shit. Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help. Tuck tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. Look at all this weird shit. Oh, that son of a bitch. about tortured. Oh yeah, school suspension is a deal breaker in the Prescott family. Whoa, what is going on between Nathan and his father? Let's see what's in here. Oh my god. No. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay, a binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Oh, this picture is framed different. Rachel is awake and fucking furious. Rachel has passed out and she has something in her mouth. 
What happened to her? This shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe it's real. I can't. Kate looks so doped up. She has no idea she's being posed. At least Kate was asleep through all this bullshit. Ah, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. So who's using this fancy tripod? Needles. Gross. Slow down! Wait for me! I know exactly where I'm going! Look! This is it! This is it! Are you gonna help me, Max? Chloe, stop! Look! Please, no. Oh. oh, that smell. Rachel. Oh. oh, Rachel, no, no, please, not her. <laughs> Chloe. <laughs> Rachel, why? I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. I loved her so much! How can she be dead? What kind of world does this? Who does this? I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. Oh, shit! This is 
like that eclipse. You're right. Look at the outline. I can't tell if they're different. What is that? that? Can't be too Jesus, moves. Chloe, look up at the sky. Possible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you all right after today? I really flipped out on Nathan. I just hate bullies. And Max, he's dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? Well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm a pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh... Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. <sighs> Where the hell are you? Ugh, I hate touching all these clothes. It is kind of nasty. Plus some of the Vortex Club ult. Hey, Max. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? Uh, no thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. What girl? She had blue hair, dressed like a punk. I've seen her putting up those Rachel Amber posters. I'm stuck here, so I'm sorry I can't help you. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. Who hired you? Mr. Jefferson asked me because he knows I don't have a lot of money, even with my job and scholarship. I'm not cool enough for this school. Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and you bust your ass for Blackwell. I hope everything turns out your way in the end. Oh, thank you, Max. I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm actually not okay. I, I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. to find Nathan and take him down.
I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap. If I get sick now, I can drink more later. Hello? Can you please hurl and squat already? Yes! You've been vomiting for like an hour! by a water weenie and fell in the pool. I'm great. I guess I can't expect you to warn me like you did last time. Hello, Brooke. Max, I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you... No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub. And his club. You're not the only one. Maybe this party will be the end of the Vortex Club. Then I don't have to pretend like I care anymore. Have you seen Warren tonight? No, I was talking to Daniel. He asked me to go with him to the Portland Art Museum this weekend. Oh, um, that, that's so sweet. I bet Daniel will be a great museum guide. I'm more into science than art, but what kind of a selfish fangirl would miss a Miyazaki exhibition? You're not selfish, Brooke. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. I don't think having superpowers would make my life easier. With great power comes great bullshit. I don't know. It would be pretty kick-ass to battle supervillains over Arcadia Bay. Well, the night is still young, Brooke. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? Sorry, but I'm on the list, okay? I know that Max Caulfield is not on any list for the Vortex Club. Nice try. Listen! No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. Yes, you do suck. What would a shitty party be without glow sticks? God, are you mental? You can't come in.
Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? Sorry, but I'm on the list. Okay? I know that Max Caulfield is not on any list for the Vortex Club. Nice try. Listen! No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. Nathan is the Vortex Club, so his app this has to be here tonight. That VIP section is so lame. You did it's worse than my dad. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. You're so sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry, I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, you Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. You still pissed about me taking your picture? Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you and me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party! Everybody is wasted! What do you want from me? Some humanity, Victoria. Well, you got Nathan busted out of Blackwell, so you should be happy. And I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. This is bigger than a problem, child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. Is that what you were trying to tell Mr. Jefferson last night? Uh, you saw me talking to him? Saw. And heard. We were just talking about how excited he is for the Everyday Heroes contest. That doesn't mean I'm going to win or anything. I hope you win fair. We'll see. And Max? I know you don't like me either, so it's not like we have to be friends or anything. Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's gonna happen. But not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. Victoria, enough of this high school bullshit. We're adults now. So listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know you're close to Nathan, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her someplace. Dark. Oh my god. And I'm the drama queen? Touché. But I am not fucking around here. Sorry, but no. No way. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. 
His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not, but you have to believe me. I don't believe anything you say. You're full of shit. Oh, hi, I'm Max Caulfield, and I'm so sensitive that butterflies make me cry. Now, will you listen? No, I won't. You're just pissed because you didn't enter a photo in the contest and that Mr. Jefferson is going to pick me. A real artist would have busted ass to win, but you just want to take your little retro selfies. That is so fucking lame and lazy, Max. Just go find a community college. <gasps> Victoria, please don't do this. Especially after what happened with Kate. Can't you see I'm serious? That's your problem, Max. This is a party, and it's the end of the world, so I am going to get so wasted, even you won't bother me anymore. I'll let Nathan know if he finally shows up. Adios. Au revoir. Okay, I tried. <laughs> She's not gonna believe me over her Vortex Club partner. There you are. Chloe, Nathan oh, isn't here. I Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the lockers. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it, Max. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you, thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, look, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Oh my. What a shocker. Victoria Chase. Oh my God! Thank you so much, Mr. Jefferson. It was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. <laughs> she is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. Victoria won. Thank you, Victoria. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. No. Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Oh Christ, Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. Right. 
Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. so I can kill him over and over. Oh, for God's sake, Chloe, you have to be quiet. We could die, okay? What the fuck? <laughs> 